So if you think about starting an office cleaning business, I'm gonna tell you every single thing you're gonna to need to get started. Let's go. Headed to the top, ain't none of y'all stopping me. Used to say I never get a ring, Charles Barkley. Now I got a wife, got kids, own property. Bubble eye beans that look like that be watching me. Okay, I lied about the beans, but that was hard though. I'm still in that black act, but she starred though. Cause that's all it takes. Don't oh, flash and fall. I'm on my grind, not no more. Show. What's up y'all, AJ Simmons, founder of the Clean Biz Network, and today I'm going to talk about everything that you're going to need to start your cleaning company, all right? Now, before I even get into it, I just want to point out, I specialize in commercial cleaning, not residential cleaning. So, you can use these products for residential as well, it'll make you look, you know, stand out even more, but honestly, these are the things you're going to need for office cleaning, all right? So here we go. First thing I want to start with is your microfiber cloths, all right? Microfiber cloths work tremendously and way better than cotton cloths, all right? So you wanna have your microfiber. Notice I have three different colors. The reason for that is, number one, you prevent cross-contamination, all right? So you can use your green rag for whatever you wanna use it for. Let's just say you wanna use this for general dust and wiping down tables and stuff, right? Then you wanna use your blue for, I don't know, doing bathrooms, right? Then you might use your orange for kitchens, but the point is to separate the different parts of the building that you're going to clean, all right? So that's what you're going to start with, your microfiber cloth, all right? Also, I want to point out, look at the thickness on these, okay? And look at the length. So you don't want those small ones that you use for auto detailing and stuff like that. That's probably about 12 by 12. You want to get these large 16 by 16 cloths, all right? You also want to get your multi-purpose, all-purpose disinfectant cleaning, all right? So you want an all-purpose disinfectant or all-purpose cleaner. Now, you really want it to say a disinfectant too, so that way it'll disinfect as well, because cleaners and disinfectants are two different things. I won't cover it in this video, but I do have videos. You just search AJ Simmons, disinfectant cleaner, you probably find something on it, right? But you want to have your disinfectant cleaner or your all-purpose cleaner and your spray bottle, right? Now, I love these Zep spray bottles here. They got the heavy-duty nozzle. It sprays, you can put them on stream, you can put them on spray so it sprays a wider surface. And then also, your all-purpose uh, cleaner is what you're going to put in there. Now, you want to read the back of your labels and see how you want to dilute it and all of that. I won't cover that in this video, but this is all you need to clean anything. And this can clean anything from your couches to your desk to your countertops, your kitchens, everything. This is for all purpose, your bathrooms, everything, all right? You're going to put it in this bottle, and that's pretty much all you're going to need. And like I said, you dilute it according to the label on the back of whatever you bought. Personally, I prefer Simple Green, but I just want to use this one as an example because at the end of the day, all-purpose cleaner for the most part is all-purpose cleaner. But I like Simple Green because it's a neutral disinfectant, but it also is non-toxic. So that way you and your employees won't have to breathe in these harsh chemicals, all right? Next thing you're going to need is toilet brush, okay? So some buildings that you go to, they don't have their own toilet brush. So you want to keep a toilet brush handy. My wife used to always like to keep them inside like a grocery bag or something just to put it around because you know it's carrying around fungus and all of that, right? But we kept one handy just in case the bathroom didn't have one available, right? Next thing you're going to need is toilet bowl cleaner, right? You probably can get a case of these. You don't want to just have one. You can get a case of them, order them online or go to your local um, Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever the case may be and get you some toilet bowl cleaner, all right? Now with the toilet bowl cleaner, honestly, if I can tell you a quick secret, I really didn't use them all the time. The only time I use toilet bowl cleaner is really when, because again, your all-purpose cleaner is going to clean it anyway. Toilet bowl cleaner is A, to make it look and smell fresh the next day so they know that you've been there so you can leave a little blue inside the toilet. Also, so that way, uh, if you, let's just say you have lime stains or rust stains, then you can get an acid-based toilet bowl cleaner such as uh, CLR or something like that, and it'll get rid of those old rust stains, all right? But for your basic toilet bowls, you can just get a little bit of this. It smells great and leave a little blue in there for you. You definitely want to have you some gloves, all right? So you're going to want to get you some gloves when you start your cleaning company. Again, you don't want to be touching your cloths and everything. And you're cleaning all around. Who knows what they've been doing in that building or in that bathroom, right? So you want to definitely have you some gloves. Personally, I like to double up on them, all right? Mask. This was not required until the pandemic hit, right? And it's not required now, depending on where you live. But I recommend as a cleaning professional, you're supposed to be the professional. So go ahead and have your mask on when you go in that building, right? As I'm thinking about it, I actually didn't have it on this list. But y'all know me, I'm a freestyle for you. Get you a logo shirt, okay? So make sure that you represent your company and you look professional. You probably, you might not want to wear your jewelry and all of that while you clean. But you definitely can wear your logo shirt, all right? Next thing you want to do is have you some backpack vacuum bags because you're going to have your backpack vacuum all right <laughs> so 
your backpack vacuum is basically you're going to wear it on your back and the good thing about a backpack vacuum is you can use it on hard floors carpet surface anyway you can even take your pole like this you can literally take your pole and suck up all up on the ceiling and everything okay so i love the backpack vacuum i wouldn't clean without it you definitely want to have the backpack vacuum some people like the old school pushback but the pushback just doesn't do it for me, all right? So you got to have that backpack vacuum. Next thing you wanna have is mop heads. And me personally, I don't like just any mop head. It has to be the microfiber mop heads, all right? They make different types of them. And also, if you look at the top of this, you'll notice it has a little rough area. So you can take and use this little rough part for like certain baseboards. If they got like rubber baseboards, you can take this rough part here and scrub your baseboards with the mop, all right? Next, what we have is this is a dry mop, okay? So this is your dry mop pad, microfiber. So that way, maybe you might not have a backpack vacuum area or something like, maybe you're not gonna use the backpack that day. You still have your dry mop head, all right? To go with your microfiber mop, all right? Let me shorten this up a bit. So you got your microfiber mop, all right? Now notice I have the wet mop pad on here. So this was the dry, this is the wet, okay? And so you just pull them off. And the good thing about these is, after you use them, you can literally just run them in the sink, wetten them up, and dry them off, and use them again, all right? So, but you definitely want to have your flat mop. That way, when you, let's just say you have a small building, most of it's carpet, and the only floor area they have is maybe the bathrooms and like a little small kitchenette area, I always use my microfiber mops, all right? Because that's what they're designed for, for smaller areas. You try to use this on a big floor area, you're gonna get yourself in trouble, all right? Because it, it just can't hold the amount of dirt that a traditional mop can. And so, that leads me to my next thing. You wanna have your traditional mop, right? So I showed you the mop head. And so this is what this is gonna go on. Now, the reason why I prefer this particular mop uh, stick instead is because it has this clamp jaw style, all right? This is the one, if you know, at Clean Biz Network, we sell Clean Biz Starter Kits, and you can get all of this stuff in your Clean Biz Starter Kit at cleanbiznetwork.com. But the reason why I specifically picked out this mop head is because it has that clamp jaw. So you tuck that in like that, tighten it up, and this mop head will never move side to side. And that was one of my pet peeves when I was out in the field is your mop, if you have the old school mop where you just push the mop through the little loop there, the mop would always slide out and stuff. With this one, that clamp jaw style, your mop uh, head is secure, it'll never move, and then you just come out there and knock it out, all right? Next thing is, you wanna have an extended duster, okay? So notice how this thing can extend. It doesn't go that long on this one, but you wanna have an extendable duster, right? So that way you can get your tough, your corners up at the top, get your cobwebs, get anything that's hard to reach up. I don't know if y'all can see this ledge I'm reaching to over here, but you wanna get your ledges and every single thing that way with your uh, extended duster can get that for you when your cloth can, all right? Next thing you want to have is a broom and dustpan. Now, like I said, you already got your backpack vacuum that can do your hard floors on your carpet. So that's probably what you want to use for floors anyway. The real reason why I have a broom and dustpan, and usually the dustpan will have a stick. I'm just trying to give you an example. All right. But the reason why I usually would have a broom is because these actually clean your uh, vents as well as sometimes your corner is better than an extended duster can. So always keep a broom handy, even though you rarely would use it, but still keep it just in case you gotta hit some vents. You can knock, it, knock up the vents out, the uh, dust out the vents, and then take your backpack vacuum and vacuum it off the floor, right? Obviously, if you're gonna have a mop, you're gonna need a mop bucket, right? So heavy duty mop bucket and ringer. You don't wanna get a little cheap one from the dollar store. You definitely want a commercial grade mop bucket, all right? And finally, you wanna have you a brute trash can, the big, 60 gallon 55 gallon brute trash can all right you see it has the dolly at the bottom so it can roll around come around a bit it also has the caddy bag on it as well so that way when you're walking you can have your supplies and chemicals right inside right so let's see if we can find a little bit of things here so remember i told you that my wife would have the uh toilet bowl thing so she would stick it right in here so there's a little hole here and we will have a little bag around it to keep the germs off, right? And so stick that in there. You have your duster in there. You can have your cloths in here. So again, some people use carts. We prefer to use the rolling trash can, all right? Then you obviously will have you some 60 gallon trash bags as well to put inside of this, right? 
And so that's everything you're going to need to start your cleaning company, all right? How much is this stuff going to cost? Well, you can shop around and try to figure it out and piece it together and get it. And you got to shop around and see. But if you want to skip the hassle, get all this stuff included, you go to cleanbusinessnetwork.com and I got it all packaged up for you, all right? So hopefully this video was able to help you. I'm AJ Simmons, founder of the Clean Business Network, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.